Hey, what's up? Welcome to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today we're going to create muzzle flashes. It's an easy process involving a few layers, some simple compositing, and a bit of color grading. So let's jump right in. So we're going to add some muzzle flashes to this special ops sequence here. The first step is to figure out where we want the flashes. I think this is a good spot. I have a few muzzle flash frames in the browser, let's add them to the timeline. Now each fire is only going to be one frame in length, so we'll trim these down and also offset them by one frame each. That'll give us the flashing. These muzzle flashes were shot on a black background, so we're going to change the blend mode. You can find the blend mode option in the inspector window under compositing. Let's change it to linear dodge. Linear dodge will make the black background transparent so we can composite the flash into our shot. Let's enable the transform and align it with the barrel. I'll repeat this process with the other flashes. Let's jump forward. So we have the muzzle flashes composited and it looks okay, but we need to manipulate the lighting to make it look more realistic. I'm gonna pull another shot from the browser, which is actually a lightning storm. Let's scale it up to frame just the sky. We'll also chop it up to align it with our muzzle flashes. If we set the transfer mode to linear dodge, it actually complements the muzzle flashes quite well. It's bluish in tone, so let's add a sepia preset from the effects browser to warm it up. Okay, it's looking better, although the background needs to be affected more by the flash. What we can do is duplicate the base layer by holding Option on the keyboard while clicking and dragging the layer. Next, we'll add a color correction effect and select a preset. Let's do Warm. Let's navigate to the exposure, bring up the highlights to almost 100%, and bring down the shadows a bit. I'll splice this shot into three parts to match the flashes. Now it's looking pretty awesome. Let's add a quick grade to the base layer. We'll add a color correction effect and select cool from the preset list. Add a bit of contrast and some green. Perfect. You can use this technique for all of the muzzle flashes and add as many as you want. I'm gonna add some more, add some sound effects and some music, and let's see how it turns out. You can use this technique to add all sorts of elements to your shot. Dust, smoke, sparks, fire, and playing around with lighting and color really helps sell the effect. So that's how you add muzzle flashes in Final Cut Pro. You can download all the assets used in this tutorial on the editor kits page and try the technique out for yourself. Thanks for watching.